dear brothers and sisters, the annual United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, ended in Glasgow a few days ago with unsatisfactory gains. Without losing hope, let us continue to walk with the vulnerable and work more vigorously in advocacy with decision makers for policy reform in favor of climate justice. Without waiting for political leaders to act, let us do what we must. As a responsible citizen of this planet, let us together commit to do our part to care for our common home. We all know that our planet is suffering an unprecedented social and ecological crisis due in large part to human acts. We have upset the balance between God, creation and humanity, and we are experiencing the consequences of this disruption. The cry of the poor and the earth speaks of ecological destruction and the loss of cultural richness caused by a mindset of exploitation. Thus, issues such as climate change, irresponsible mining practices, consumer-driven overproduction, or the prioritization of economic parameters over human development are just manifestations of this disruption in which vulnerable communities, children, the elderly, indigenous peoples or migrants are more exposed and suffer the consequences to a greater extent. In this context, Pope Francis launched the Laudato Si Action Platform in May 2021 and opened registration for it on Sunday 14th November. As many of you know, it is a work plan for the next seven years with seven objectives that call for an ecological conversion and set us in harmony with the spirit of the Ignatian Jubilee year and the spirit of the integral ecology. The plan seeks to contribute to the empowerment of families, communities, parishes, dioceses, networks, educational institutions and religious congregations in the commitment to attain total sustainability. The platform represents an innovative collaboration between the Vatican, through the Dicastery for the Promotion of Integral Human Development, an international coalition of Catholic organizations and all people of goodwill. Through this initiative, the aim is to organize a program of action that, listening to the cry of the earth, might respond to the cry of the poor and assure the rights of future generations. To this first objective, the Laudato Si platform adds six others, namely advancement towards an ecological economy, the adoption of sustainable lifestyles, ecological education, deepening of a spirituality that nourishes the search of ecological balance, community commitment, and active citizenship for the preservation of the environment. The general congregations of the Society of Jesus commit us to this crucial dimension of the mission of reconciliation and justice, the urgency of which is becoming more pronounced each day. It is a mission that we cannot and do not want to face alone, but in collaboration with the most vulnerable and marginalized in society, who bear the greatest impact of this broken world. Accompany young people in their efforts to change the current course of humanity in collaboration with institutions and organizations of the Church of which we are part along with all those who wish to join in these efforts. The Laudato Si Action Platform is part of the synodal process of the Catholic Church is undergoing, in which various individuals, institutions and networks of the Society of Jesus are already participating. 
It is a concrete way of deepening our commitment to the care of the common home that is integral to the universal apostolic preferences, joining our efforts with those of people and institutions around the world committed to work together towards the formation of a global community, a human family determined to realize God's plan in which equilibrium is achieved between human life and the environment that makes it possible. I therefore extend an earnest invitation to all to join the process of the Laudato Si Action Platform, to deepen our ecological conversion, to continue to integrate the objective of Laudato Si into our life and apostolates, to take concrete and bold action to address the crisis affecting our common home as a dimension of our mission of reconciliation and justice that seeks to restore the balance between the environment and to dismantle the structures of young justice in order to reestablish our relationship with God. This is how we can make our contribution to a more fraternal, just, and sustainable world. Thank you.